Americans Nate and Carrie Lucas and their four daughters survived the disaster. They join us now from Rome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know this must be an incredible and awful um, memory, but take us to the moment that you realized something was wrong. Uh, well, we didn't hear a lot of the noise that many of the other passengers had heard. Uh, many people were up eating dinner. We uh, turned in early that night. We had a long day of travel, and so we had an early dinner, went to bed, didn't hear a lot. Um, however, something did wake me up. Um, I, went, I, I got out of bed and noticed that um, some of the items in our bathroom had shifted to the floor. Um, Nate got out of bed and um, noticed that the boat was, was uh, not, yeah, not quite even and was concerned. We went and woke the girls up who were in the cabin next door to us and told them to, uh, to you know, get, get some things together that we might be heading out on deck uh, to see what was, what was happening. Um, the, re the, the staff had been reporting that everything was under control. There was an electricity issue, generator problems, um, but we were concerned with the tipping of the ship and so we um, decided to head out and, and try to find where we needed to be. Mr. Lucas, what was the worst moment for you? Probably trying to find our way to the surface. We really were only on the ship for maybe four or five hours and uh, didn't have a chance to really learn our way around. So coming out in the dark with the children and then once we got in the hall and more um, pandemonium, more people running around, you re realize, hey, maybe this is kind of serious. We need to get to the surface. And we didn't even know what level the lifeboats were on. So we kind of went up the stairs and down the stairs and uh, I think Carrie finally noticed cold air blowing in from some doorway, so we made our way out to the deck there. And then there were a lot of people out there. But yeah, being in the, in the corridors in the dark, was you felt really vulnerable. This is the worst place you'd want to be, you know, disoriented in the dark and a boat that's starting to tip. Carrie, walk us through. There have been reports that, that people weren't exactly chivalrous, to say the least. When everybody did get up on deck, there was more pandemonium up there. As you're trying to find the lifeboats and get in, walk us through what that was like for you. Okay, yeah, there were there were a few hysterical people, and um, on the inside, I was one of them. We calmly tried to get in line. Um, there were some crew members that were, you know, uh, Telling, telling us, you know, five people in a line, five people in a line and trying to be organized. That didn't last very long. People were pushing and shoving and of course everyone wanted to be first. Were you always together? Yes. That was the, the thing when we first kind of came down and had kind of a little huddle. We, we came out into the outdoor area and saw how many people there were and that was one thing Nate said, we have to stay together. We, we did, I don't think we ever left, um, and we were in contact physically the whole time, holding hands um, everywhere we went. And um, toward the end, when we were when we were moving down to the end of the ship after we had missed the first load of um, the first lifeboat, um, you know, Nate was slipping and sliding and had a hard time keeping his footing. But um, you know, the biggest fear we had was m losing one of the kids or one of us not getting off the ship. I can't even imagine how, how awful that would have been. Nate, Carrie, Molly, Hannah, Isabel, and Lucy, thank you all for joining us this morning. Really appreciate you taking some time for us. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.